on the mound for the Marlins tonight is Eliezer Hernandez. He'll get the ball for his ninth start since being reinserted into the rotation his 14th start of the season overall. Two are up and two are down in this top of the first for Christian Yelich. Here's a ball squibbed foul off the foot of Yelich and it rolls up to the first base coach Carlos Severo and Yelich is down on one knee and now has taken a seat there in that batter's box. Let's see where it got him. Oh Geff that got him right on the right knee inside of the right knee. Athletic trainer Rafael Freitas is out having a chat here with Yelich. He knows where the injury is. I mean Yelich is trying to shake it off as best he can. We're starting to get into the territory where he may not be able to stay in this game. Well, the last thing any Brewer wants to see is their best player down. He finally gets to his feet. He's still a fan favorite here. They love him. I think they're going to take him out. They sure are. Well, Christian Yelich is going to have to exit this game. Well, that is a big blow here for the Brewers in the first inning. And we'll see who they send up there. It'll be Trent Grisham, who had the five hits in last night's game. And that is over the outside. Strike three called. It's going to be Chase Anderson on the mound for the Brewers, start number 24 of the season. Yeah, he's six and four with that 4.58 ERA. We've seen that thing start to come down a little bit. Two are up and two are down for Garrett Cooper. Little jam shot over to third base. Travis Shaw will make the play. Nice start for Chase Anderson. Two down, five up, five down for Eliezer. Here's Corey Spangenberg. Ground ball sharply hit past Castro. It's a base hit. Spangenberg is on with two outs ahead of Hernan Perez. Comes to bat hitting 238 with a half a dozen homers. And now Perez sends one deep to left. That is way back. And she's gone. Hernan Perez with a two run blast. What a lightning strike off the bat of Hernan Perez. Number seven on the year. And the Brewers with two outs. Get a quick two on the board, courtesy of their shortstop. As we go to the bottom of the second inning, Jorge Alfaro will be the batter. Another 2 2 is smacked down to right field. Grisham giving chase. That one is going to hit off the base of the wall. Alfaro can run. He will stop at second, however, with a one out double. His 13th two base hit, base runner number one, hit number one for the Marlins. And Isan Diaz, the tying run coming to the plate. Ball one, no strikes. Chase Anderson delivers, and the ball is powered in the air toward the gap in right center. That's triples country. The ball bangs off the wall, and it's going to be a ground rule double. That will score Alfaro. The Marlins are on the board on a two base hit by Isan Diaz into right center just to the left of the 392 side. Chase Anderson able to limit the damage last half inning. One for 34 with the run batted in this year. A couple of sack bunts. Chase Anderson leads off and a fair ball just inside the line. Anderson who runs well on his way to second base. It'll be a stand up double. And the Brewers starting pitcher comes up with an extra base hit. Grandal struck out his first time. He's hit though in six of his last seven. Grandal a liner down the right field line. That is fair. That's going to go to the wall. Chase Anderson will score. Yasmani Grandal in the second base. It's an RBI double, and the Brewers get the run back. Three to one, Milwaukee. Chase Anderson back out there on the mound. He gets three, four, and five in the lineup for the Marlins Cooper, Castro, and Alfaro. And there's his first walk as he misses outside of the load of Garrett Cooper. One out for Jorge Alfaro, who doubled his first time up. Alfaro putting together quite the at bat and finally draws the walk. And now two on with one out for Isan Diaz, who doubled home the only Marlins run of the night back in the second inning. Look to the east side. There's a line drive right field, sinking quickly and down for a base hit. Castro waved the third. He's going to score. Isan Diaz is two for two. He's knocked in both Marlins runs. And Miami pulls back within a run, 3 2 in the fourth. Junior Guerra stays out there for the Brewers in the bottom of the eighth inning. Here's Starlin Castro. 3 0 pitch, and Castro gets under one. It's a fly ball to deep center. Kane is going back, way back. He's leaping at the wall, and Castro has hit it out to tie the game. Number 19 for Starlin Castro. It's 3 3 in the eighth. A towering fly ball that just did clear the fence. Now the Marlins hottest hitter, the Marlins most clutch hitter here in the second half comes through one more time. How many times have I said in the last couple of weeks, look at the power to center field from Starlin Castro. Well, we're all tied up as we go to the ninth. Yosmani Grandal will lead it off for the Milwaukee Brewers. Grandal with the shift on. That's a base hit. A little cue shot into right field and Yasmani Grandal with a two hit game. 
And the Brewers put the go-ahead run on. And now Trent Grisham. And Grisham lines one down the right field line. Grandall on the run, on his way to third. Grisham on his way to second. Yasmani will be held at third. It's a double for Trent Grisham. Second and third with nobody out in the ninth for the Brewers. And Tyler Austin will hit for Thames. And that one's in the air. A towering fly ball. Center field. Brinson has a good arm. And Grandall is going to challenge the arm. The throw comes in. Grandall will score. Now the throw gets away. And Grisham to third base. It's a sacrifice fly for Austin. And the Brewers have a 4-3 lead. Brinson has a very strong arm, but that was not close to home plate. And it's going to be Drew Pomeranz on to try to close it down, Augie. Three career saves, all coming four years ago, 2015 with the Oakland A's. Austin Dean will be the first man up. A base hit into right for Austin Dean. And the Marlins have the tying run aboard. Terrell Ramirez fly to right his first time up. Struck him out swinging on a high fastball. Gassed him up at 95. And the batter will be Martin Prado. That is a base hit into right field. John Birdie rounding second. He will stay put. A pinch hit single the other way for Martin Prado and the tying run in scoring position. Miguel Rojas, who's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in his career against Pomerantz. In the air, center field. Kane on the run. Grisham on the run. It's Grisham who makes the catch. Birdie's going to tag. He'll stop at third base. Heck of a play by Grisham for the second out of the ninth inning. And who wrote this script? Here's Lewis Brinson, the former Brewer. It's two outs in the ninth. Here he comes, and a swing and a miss. He struck him out. The Brewers win their fifth consecutive game.